So I didn't film the first part, but I went ahead and just made this plow. I had to um, cut that out of this. What this is, if it'll read 16 gauge. What I did to get the curve out of it, I didn't see there. I went ahead and put it against this uh, welding tank. Don't worry, there's nothing in there. And I wrapped four ratchet straps around it and ratcheted, ratcheted the uh, metal until it conformed to the uh, so These pieces are cut. Uh, two pieces of angle iron, if you can't tell. Those are gonna go between the axle and the plow. Next step is to go ahead and take some of this 3 16 inch rod and somehow conform it to the axle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these little vice grips. I've got two of them, and I'm gonna show you how to bend this 3 16 inch rod. You can see it still. See with me blocking the light. There we go. All right. Um, yep, now just go ahead. We basically got the shape that we want. And then I'm gonna cut it off about here where my finger is. We got our piece here, I cut it off like I said I was going to. Um, we can slip it up in here, test fit it on the axle, looks pretty great. All right, so I have my two identical push bars. I got my plow. I have the piece to go on the axle to push the plow. The next step is going to be to get a piece to weld to the actual plow itself. So that means I have to find the correct distance uh, and length that this needs to be. I went ahead and put my two little pieces to go around the axle on there. It's got to be as wide as these two pieces. Next step is to go ahead and weld your pieces together. All right, so I have the push bars welded to the uh, little axle braces here. Got to weld it up. That's what it looks like. I ended up welding the cross piece in the front to the plow first. So the plow is pretty much done. I'm gonna add a few other things to it brought right up in here. So the plow basically just kind of flips over like that and then twists on and it's on your truck. And that's kind of, as far as the S curves in these, those are actually catches for rubber bands. Yes, that's right, rubber bands. Easiest way to connect and disconnect a plow that you pretty much don't want on your truck except for five minutes. So, so first things first, flip the truck upside down um, and then you go ahead and get the rubber bands you're gonna use and hook it up to the bottom catch. This one will work with me. There we go. Put it on the bottom catch and then hook it on your top catch. And in my case, since these rubber bands are so long, I have to take them and wrap them back up to the top, but you get the idea. All right, so the rubber bands, as you can see, they work pretty well. So because we have a really rough, uneven driveway, I'm gonna go ahead and make some sliders for this thing, uh, and I'll show you what those are when I'm done. So here are the sliders. These are a slightly modified version than what you'd see like on a real life bit different, and our driveway is really rough, so these are gonna work out great. I'll do a before and after video. Uh, show you guys the difference with and without sliders. So one other thing you need to put on here, uh, you need to have a tether from your plow uh, down here to your bumper somewhere. And it's easier to show you than tell you. That's why you need a tether. As you can see, I bent and welded a loop uh, that's made out of the 3, 3 16 steel. Um, and then also I have the tether here which is the chain that you see. All right, so this is with the tether, without the sliders. So as you can see, we got our little bump here. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's without sliders. So I'll show you what it's like with sliders. All right, so the sliders are on. We're in the same exact spot here where the stiff is. And you can see, it takes a couple tries, but it will actually go up and over. And this is actually, this is actually a worse spot 
So overall, pretty easy build. You could probably pretty easily cut these same parts out and bolt everything together or glue it together or something like that. Um, I mean, obviously nothing's gonna be as strong as welding, but it only took me a few hours with, uh, you know, we probably got 10 bucks or something into steel, so. So the cool thing about sliders is it allows you to go a lot of places such as carpet. I don't know why you would need a snow plow and carpet. Of course you can go to normal places such as concrete and blacktop. You can also go through grass. The sliders even make it possible to plow a gravel driveway. And it does the snow pretty well too. On the truck farm. As auxiliary power on the large farm. As the complete power unit on the small family size farm. So as you can see from the video, I installed a light system into one other thing I put on the plow. Um, I've actually got a lot of accessories for this thing, including this uh, salt spreader. I'm going to have a video in the description box uh, or a link to a video in the description box about the salt spreader. Um, there's also going to be a video with the salt spreader and the plow working together on this truck. Um, and it's just going to be a video of the truck, no talking. <clears throat> so if you want to check that out, again, link in the description box. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Thanks for watching.